Designing slides can be seriously time consuming, and a simple Word doc just doesn't really convey the quality of your brand. That's where Walling comes in. It's a super efficient way to collect, design, and share information using the simplicity and easily accessible nature of a web page. And it's responsive too. So today I'm gonna to walk you through how to make this beautiful project proposal and share all the tips and tricks that you need to know along the way. Let's get started. All right, let's start off with making a new wall. I'm gonna title it Project for Proposal XYZ. Best example name ever. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and click the blank layout just to start completely fresh. So before we get into any of the content, I'm gonna go into the customize wall section and go into the wall cover and layout and turn that on. I'm gonna do the wide cover style um, and change the cover. It's important to pick a good cover photo because that's like the first thing that your client's gonna see. So I'm gonna find something that sort of represents what I'm going for here. And the uh, direct connection here with Unsplash is super useful just because like, you know, they're already basically curating quality images. So that's exactly the one I wanted. Before we move on to the content, I'm actually gonna change the fonts used in the wall under the text customization section. And for the titles, I'm gonna use Enter. And then for the body font, I'm actually gonna use Playfair Display. So I'm actually gonna add a project description just to give it a brief introduction before we get started into the sort of nitty gritty of the proposal. So I've got all my content here on the, my left screen, so I'm just copy and pasting that in as we go. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm actually gonna remove the uh, wall icon here, which is actually under the miscellaneous options under the wall customizations. So we can just remove that right there, much cleaner. All right, this section I'm gonna title About Us. But before I start adding content, I'm actually gonna go in and into the section customizations and hide the section heading as well as not make it a collapsible section. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I type in a section title if I'm just gonna hide it? Well, I will show you. If we go to the published tab here and we publish to the web, we can then see what our proposal looks like so far. As you can see, we do have a side sidebar here for navigation, and I do intend to utilize the sidebar on this one, so that's why I'm going to be titling some sections that might not actually show up in the feed. Just so that when we have clients picking you know, different sections to go to, they'll know which one is which, even if it's not titled. So I'm going to change the background color on this section. So you can do that under the layout and appearance of the section customizations. So I'm actually going to pick a custom color and then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to pick a color from the photo we used above. Obviously this color is pretty stark so I'm actually going to lighten it up a bit but at least it's still going to be in the same visual wheelhouse as the cover photo. All right I'm happy with that. Next up we can start adding our content. Um, so for this I'm going to use one of the pre-built layouts so I can just click select layout and pick from one of those. For this one, I think this will actually be the perfect setup. So I'm going to replace the title with who we are and then add a small tagline below that. And I think the weight difference between these two is just a little bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and make this large text instead of normal size text. And then I can add a bio of the company here. All right, then I'm gonna find a new photo that will complement the vibe we've got going on here. Purple architecture. Yeah, this is really cool. It's a really good photo. <laughs> I'm gonna make that a bit taller. Okay, that's good. Let's take a look at that so far. Love it, perfect. Our next section is gonna focus on what the company offers as a solution. So we're gonna title it solution. And I do wanna keep this heading on the finished product, but I do not want it to be collapsible. So I'm gonna turn that off in the section customizations. So firstly, I'm gonna start with a three photo and text layout. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background on all of these, which you can do by just simply dragging and selecting all of them and then going to background and transparent background. For this section's layout, I do want like kind of a um, title brick to go over these other bricks. 
Um, so I'm actually going to add that here real quick, make that the full width of the section, and then bring that up to the top here. Then I can copy in my heading. And I do want this to be centered and even larger than it is now. So just highlight it, center it, and then I'll change it from heading 2 to a display font, which is the largest that you can go. And I think it's actually pretty perfect for the ratios we got going on here. Then we can add a little blurb about the core value proposition. I also want this to be centered and larger text as well. And while we're at it, we can right click on the brick to remove the background. For these three photos, I'm actually just going to find some minimal architecture photos on Unsplash. Okay, beautiful. Then we can add our copy. So this one's going to be solution. This one is objectives. And this one is goal. Then we can add our blurb about the solution. And for this one, I want to actually do a bolded list, uh, which the fast way to do that would be a dash followed by a space. That's the shortcut to start a bolded list. And then once we paste all of our bullets in, it'll automatically continue that formatting downward. And lastly, the goal blurb. Let's take a look at that real quick. Yeah. Looks good. Our next section is going to be our clients. Now this one is another one that I want to hide the section heading and also make it not collapsible. I also want to give this one a pretty stark background. So I'm actually going to start with this purple, but then make it even darker. Kind of want to go for like a plum color there. I'm actually going to save that color because I'm going to use it a couple more times later on here. So for this one, I'm going to select the layout of the three title headings. But I actually want four for this one. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and increase the number of columns to four using this little rocker up here. And then I'm going to duplicate one of these bricks by right clicking on it and hitting duplicate brick. And then we can just move that one over here. I'm going to add 64% increase in web traffic. I'm going to do, let's do 100 satisfied clients, 50 plus five star reviews, and 15 digital awards. And then below this, I want to add some logos that, that the company has worked with. So I'm going to double click to add a new brick. I'm going to insert an image, choose an image, upload from my files. And then we're going to make this the full width of the section. I'm going to right click and remove the background on that. And then we just need to remove the text areas above it to make it just a photo. And then there are actually some more logos to the left and right of these. So all we have to do to show all of those is just scrunch this down a bit so that it shows all of them. And there we go. Got a beautiful client section. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, looks great. Next section is the estimated budget. And for this one, I just want to make it non-collapsible, but I will be keeping the title. Now, all the previous sections that we've covered so far have been visual view sections, but there are several different views that you can choose from for your sections, uh, one of them being a table view, which what better thing for a budget. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and change it to a table view using this little drop down on the right side of the section here and change that to table view. As you can see, we're preloaded with some columns, but I'm only going to do three for this one. So I'm actually going to delete these last two here using the three dots next to the column name. And just remove those all together. So for the first column, I'm going to say task. The second column, I'm going to say cost. And the third column, I'm going to say notes. There are a handful of different 
types of columns you can have in a table view. If you hit the three dots, there is a type list right here. So for the cost, I'm going to do a number, obviously. Um, and then for the notes, I'm going to do another text string instead of a calendar date. And then we can add our content. As you can see here, the first one that I added here, the custom website design and development, is not showing all of the text. And I do want it to show all of the text. So if we actually go into the customize section options and then under layout and appearance, there is a wrap cells that you can turn on for a table view. So that's exactly what we want. So the cost for this is $10,000. And then I'm actually gonna expand the width of the notes here quite a bit just to fit all the notes that I've got. You may have also noticed while we were clicking around for the number column, there are actually a handful of different number formats to pick from. So I'm actually gonna change that to the dollar. That way the cells are just formatted for me and then we can add the rest of them. Responsive website design is 3000. And you can use your tab button on your keyboard to navigate to the next cell. Got e-commerce website design and development. That's 12,000. And then one more for search engine optimization. Since this is a number column, we can actually do some calculations as well. So if we go back into the options for this column, we can calculate sum. So that way the sum of all the parts is easily visible right there. I also want to kind of sort of differentiate the tasks from the rest of it. So I'm actually going to add a highlight to the left column here. I'm going to do a custom one. And then I'm going to use our purple, but I'm going to make it like super, super light. This way with the table view, the client's easily able to see what's going into the total project cost, as well as like what's actually entailed in each of the sections of that cost. Just gonna take a quick look at it while it's published. Yeah, looks good. Next section is the timeline. And I do not want it to be collapsible, but I do want the heading there. And like the last one, we are actually gonna do something different here. Instead of a visual view, we are gonna do a calendar view. What better way to show a timeline? While we could just list out the order of events, this way we can provide it in a slightly more digestible manner to the client. And since this project is a pretty large one and it's gonna be spanning more than you know a few days, we're gonna go ahead and change this timeline from the days format to the months format, as our project will be spanning from August to November. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the content for all of the months. As you can see, this Kanban style for the calendar view does start keeping track of how many events are happening per month, which can also be a nice indication of like how much is going on in one single month to the client. Okay, now that we've got all our content down, I am gonna do some colorization to sort of make some things stand out. So for example, this design brick, I do wanna change the background color to a nice like lavender. And then development, I also wanna to highlight too. So I'm gonna make that one yellow. I'm also going to go ahead and make the background just a slightly off gray color just to make it stand out a little bit more from the previous section. Looks very nice. Very nice. Here's where we really start to see how walling has some serious benefits over you know like a slideshow because a slideshow just wouldn't be able to do this easily. I mean you've got an interactive table outlining budget and a scrollable calendar detailing the timeline as well. So. So yeah, Walling can do some seriously nifty little tricks. <laughs> the next and last section is the contact us section. I'm gonna hide the heading and make it non-collapsible as well. I'm gonna double click and add a thank you brick to thank the client for reviewing our proposal. I'm actually gonna increase the amount of columns in this one to six and make this one sort of centered three wide. And then make the thank you display sized as well as centered. And then also center this text down here as well as make it large. Oh, and I'll remove the brick background as well. Following that, I want a little contact info box as well as a photo. Double click to add one more brick insert an image, remove those two, 
and then see if we can find us a purple building. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Okay, for the heading, I'm going to do contact us. I'm going to add an address, an email, and a phone number. I'm going to make all this text large, just so it stands out a bit more. And then while we're at it, we can add links to the email and phone number. So if you remember from the last video, it is mail to colon, then followed by the email to, to make the email act as a button for their email client to be called upon when they click it. And then for phone number, same thing, except it's T-E-L colon, followed by the phone number. Then it'll take them to their dial pad, or if they have a application on their computer that handles that, it'll take them to that as well. And then lastly, I want to add a contact form button. So first I'm going to put a divider, which you can do with three dashes, and that'll make a divider. And then I want to insert a button. For the text, I'll have it say contact form, and then I'll just do a random URL real quick. <laughs> and then I want to use that dark plum color we made. And I'll save that, remove that extra line there, and there we go. Let's take a look at our work. I'm actually going to go to the live web page. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, if I was sent this, I would be pretty impressed. <laughs> Got the sidebar here to jump to certain sections easily. I hope this gave you some inspiration on how you can use Walling to quickly design your next proposal. If you do want to give it a try, this template is available in the link in the description. Um, if you want to tinker around with this one, you can do that for free right now. So give it a try. And if you do design anything that you're proud of, we'd love to see it. So feel free to share your wall in the comments below. And until next time, have a good one.